Hello beauties, it's Brittany. Welcome to my channel today. We're experiencing a full-on thunderstorm, so if you hear thunder and, you know, the light starts to change, hopefully the power doesn't go out, that's what's going on. But I cannot wait to talk to you about this today. Today I'm talking to you about the Emily Edits collection by Makeup Revolution and Emily Noel here on YouTube. I have been a long time subscriber of Emily Noel. Before I actually started making videos myself, I watched so much YouTube and still to this day I do. I am such a fan of her. I also love the fact that she's from the Midwest. I myself am a Midwest girl and I love the fact that she named an eyeshadow in this palette Midwest. We don't get enough love here in the Midwest so I'm so glad that she can represent us and she's so kind and so generous and you can just tell that she's so authentic and true to who she is. Uh, so she collaborated with Makeup Revolution which is a very affordable brand. Yes, I am getting worked up. That's why my eyes are watery. I'm just so excited for her and so proud of what she's been able to create and so inspired and just at awe by her authenticity and her creativity. So these two palettes are available at Ulta and the Makeup Revolution website. Website. I ordered mine online but also did go in store and just wanted to see the display and it was it was so amazing she looks incredible on the display and I would just like to point something out that I don't think I've heard anybody else talk about she is a beautiful woman when you go and look at the display there's not a lot of edits made to the photo you can see some fine lines you can see little natural blemishes that she has on her skin and I am so inspired by the fact that she probably, I don't know this for a fact, but she probably made a huge point not to over edit her photo, which I am just so impressed and inspired by. So no, but I don't, I haven't heard anybody else talk about that and I could be totally just throwing shots in the dark, but that's just something that I noticed and I really respected and appreciate. Anyways, I have a look today. Uh, it's this look that I have on my full face. I used a lot of the Wants palette on the eyes and I used the Needs palette on the face. I did use a couple shadows on the eyes, but I was just kind of playing around and this just goes to show you how inspired you can get by these shadows in this palette because I didn't really know what I was going in with when I first started and the shadows just kind of took hold and this is what I ended up creating. There's so many shadows in here to be inspired by, to create a multitude of looks. Every single shade in here performs so top notch. I love this palette. There's some amazing mattes in here. You have your, your matte cream brow bone highlight or your all over the lid color. You have an inner corner highlight as well as a brow bone highlight all of the matte shades that you could possibly want in a variety of different colors. You've got some bright greens, a black, your browns, your peaches, everything that you can need to create any look possible. There, I'd say that the only like major color group that is missing from here is any kind of blue, but the purples in here and the greens are just amazing. Love this palette. Then you have the Wants palette, which I've been using on my face quite frequently. It's like the perfect size also. I feel like it's really easy to kind of hold in my hand, will be great for travel. So you have your setting powder shade and kindness. You have a bronzer, a blush, a highlight. I'd even go as far as to say you have two blushes in this palette because you can use the shade Honesty as a blush. I did that today right on the apples of the cheeks. I used Joy all over and then Honesty right on the apples. And this highlighter is much more potent than you actually think it's gonna be. Love that shade. The only kind of overlap slightly that I see in here is Love and Kindness. I feel like you could've just used Kindness to kind of set all over the lid versus having this Love shade in here. But, whoa, it is really coming down and the camera just flashed. This is crazy. This is an absolutely beautiful palette. I love the outer casing. I like that it's a hard case and I also love the fact that it's not like velvety or anything like that. It's just easy to clean. A lot of palettes that I have, even my Dream Street palette from uh, ColourPop or my original Jaclyn Hill palette, those get pretty dirty pretty quickly and this is nice that you can just wipe it off and nothing's gonna kinda stick to it. As you can see, the Needs palette is quite a bit smaller than the Wants, which I think was intentional. You know, you can travel a lot better with this uh, Needs palette than you can the Wants, but both of them are just so beautiful. The 
like light pink and peach package is just adorable. Makeup Revolution is a very affordable brand and for the quality and quantity that you're getting in each of these palettes, they are so worth the price. You can also order online and use Ebates and get cash back. If you have never heard of Ebates, make sure you are checking it out. I have a link down below. It's just amazing. You get cash back for shopping online, which who doesn't want cash back when you're already going to be buying something? And don't forget, if you're part of the Ulta Rewards program, you can also use points towards products, or you can buy these products and earn points while you are purchasing them. And Makeup Revolution does normally qualify for their $3.50 off coupon, so keep all of those things in mind. I know that Emily herself is a bargain shopper, so she would love it if uh, you are also very witty in the way that you shopped. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial today. If you do, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you all very soon. Let's get started. Okay, I think I'm gonna start first with the Needs palette. I haven't actually played around with the eyeshadows in here a whole lot. I've used the face products pretty consistently. I'm gonna start first with Love on just a very fluffy brush. I actually have already primed my eyelids. Emily actually recommended that in her video talking about the products as well. Just that it's a very essential step to your makeup routine. I definitely find my shadows last longer and look better when I use a primer. Okay, so Love is just like a tinge deeper than my natural skin tone. So I do like that for kind of just sweeping all over the lid. I'm going to go in with Peace with that same brush and just start to buff that into the crease. I am noticing a little bit of kickback with these shadows, but nothing too unbearable. But I'm very excited to take this Honest shade and pop it in my crease, because I love kind of peachy shades for my crease. I'm taking this on a Morphe M519. This shade is very pigmented and blending out super well. I really like that Honest shade. I feel like it blended out super nice, and it is the perfect kind of peachy pink hue. It doesn't look red. It's a very beautiful finish. I'm definitely a huge fan of that. Now let's get on to some of the fun stuff. I don't know what shades from this Swamp palette I'm gonna use. I'm still very much on the fence. There's just so much in here and I'm just, I'm so inspired yet a little overwhelmed <laughs> at the same time. I'm not sure where to start. Okay, I was gonna go peach because that's kind of where I've I am right now, but I think I'm going to go purple with a cut crease gold. That's what I'm going to attempt. Let's see if it'll happen. All right, what I'm going to start with is Family, and this is a very rich purple, and what I've done is taken that same M519 and really buffed this on the outer corner of the eye and really build up the intensity. I'm going to go for, I think, a very smoky look on the outer corner and then get very light with a purple and then try that cut crease. So now I'm going to take Pi Phi on a Morphe E30 and I'm really going to focus this on the outer corner of the eye, uh, going back and forth between the M519 and the Family Shade and just kind of helping to blend things out and then using a BH Cosmetics big fluffy blending brush to help bring everything together and blend out the edges. Getting into some of the fun of this look, I'm gonna take pizzazz and just start to pat that on the outer corner just so that once I go in with these other shades that I'm gonna talk about in a second, things blend out a little bit better. Then I'm gonna start with Belle Violet, which is named after one of her daughters, so adorable. These two, Eve Rose and Belle Violet, I think are my favorite out of this whole palette, so that's exciting. I'm gonna take Belle Violet and spritz my brush with MAC Fix Plus just so that it has more pigmentation, more of kind of a wet look, because that's what I'm going for today, but you can definitely use this shade on your on its own. It just won't look exactly the same as this kind of foiled look that I have going on. And then I'm gonna take Eve Rose, do the same thing with some Fix Plus, and pop it right on the center of the lid, and that's really gonna open up the eyes and give a larger appearance overall, a more bright center of the lid, really opens up the eye altogether, and those two shades kind of mixed together are just beautiful, as I imagine Eve Rose and Belle Violet playing together <laughs> with Emily and they just they just mesh together so well. I want the outer corner to look more intense so I'm gonna go back in with some family and just deepen things up a little further. 
and I want these shades to blend together a little more with family so I'm going to go in with a little more of pizzazz and just start to pat that on the outskirts here to blend things together. So I tried something a little bit different, bringing a gold into the crease. So I took a little bit of concealer, the Makeup Revolution one actually, and just started to define that crease area. And then I patted a little bit of Top Story right in that crease area. I felt like the shimmers were kind of meshing together a little too well. So I went in with Love Tons and I brought that right above Top Story. And the contrast of the colors and the fact that this one is matte, I think helped to bring attention to that crease a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. We will come back and do the lower lashes together as well as use some products from the Emily Needs palette. I set the under eye area with a little bit of kindness. I love the names of these shades, they're so beautiful. And I feel like the eyes are looking much more put together now that I have some face makeup on. I am going to smoke out the lower lash line and I'm gonna go a little heavier than I normally do. So I think what I'm gonna start with is a little bit of honesty and I'm really gonna smudge that very close to the lashes. And then I'm gonna start to layer the other shades that I have on the upper lashes or upper, upper lid. Um, so I'm gonna use Family and really kind of bring that down, really smoke it out pay close attention to just blending 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 just so that it looks really nice and smoked out and then i'm going to take pie fi and focus that really on the outer corner and again smoke it out pretty low and just spend a little bit of time here kind of blending it out i am going to mix together i think eva rose and belle violet and pop that uh closer to the inner corner and then i think i might set the inner corner um or highlight the inner corner with oh heavens or I might go to the face palette and use Gratitude. Uh, not sure yet, maybe kind of just blend those two together and see how it goes. I'm gonna take the bronzer in Courage with a Elysium Cube brush, and I have played around with this face palette quite a bit recently, and I do enjoy these products. And you desperately need to clean my brushes. I know. You know what, I didn't powder my face, so I feel like that's going on really weird. Okay, I put my lashes out and I cut them and now one is just missing. Don't know where it went, it's just totally gone. My lip trio of the day is a BH, BH Cosmetics lip liner in Stripped. This is supposed to be a waterproof lip liner. I, it's a new purchase for me, so trying it out. And then the Wet n Wild lipstick in Rose to Fame, which is 
34491 and then a CoverGirl gloss in the shade in the shade TBD. I will link it if I can find it in the information bar. I wanted to go some, with something with like a purple reflex and this is perfect. Now let me find that lash. It was an adventure to find the lash, but it was on my dress. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop these false lashes on and the look will be complete. <laughs> And here is the completed look. The lashes that I used today are the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro M202, and I really like them. I did have to cut out, um, cut off the outer corner uh, because they were a little extreme, but I feel like this tones them down just a smidge. I truly love this collaboration. I love to use it because I feel like so much heart and soul went into it. Every little bean. <laughs> I love using this collection. I feel like Emily's heart and soul went into creating these palettes and making sure that they had everything that you can need to complete looks that you want and looks that you need. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. I'm not gonna show you swatches or anything. She did that plenty on her channel. I, just, I love the bronzer blush highlighter effect I can get in this Needs palette. And the highlighter in here is totally buildable. I first put just a little bit and then I kicked it up a notch so that I was like, sparkling and I love it. Doesn't have any glitter, but very, very highlighty. And then the Wants palette, I don't ever think that I will be able to create the amount of looks that you could possibly create with this palette. The options are really limitless and the combinations that you can put together are insane. It's just beautiful, beautiful collection. I like that you can use it for every day. There's good neutrals, but there's fun pops of color in there with the greens and the purples as well. So I truly hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel as well as subscribe down below. It's free and it really helps my channel grow and helps other people be able to see my content. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.